He said, God is ordained all right out there, aye, aye, well I'm Nob, I'm Nob Stewart, aye, and I've got a little poem for you, he's all right, he's up for a poem out there, he's all up for a little bit of poetry, cool, here's my poem, it's called Dodgy Crowd. I've got in with a dodgy crowd, but I really need to break our ties. But it's very hard today, cause I'm addicted to their mince pies. <laughs> I forgot the rest of it, I forgot the fucking rest of it. It's quite a good poem, Ken, it lasts quite long in that, but I started off in the wrong verse, that was the second verse I'd done and I'm supposed to start in the first verse. That wasn't very clever of me, was it? That was a bit fucking idiotic. Okay, it's the story of my fucking life, that idiocy. One thing needs to a fucking another all day, every fucking day. Get up, first idiotic thing a day, I smoke a big fucking doobie. Aye, that's fucking pretty idiotic. And that just gets the ball rolling, you can okay? That gets the ball rolling for the next fucking idiotic thing a day. I've got plenty of examples, you can. Obviously, one of them, my main major fucking idiotic thing I've done was get married. Hi. Have you ever done that? That's fucking pure idiocy. I didn't care if any of you have fucking got married. But if you have, you'll probably at some point realised it was a fucking idiotic decision. But we hang in there, don't we? We fucking cling on, cling on to the hope that you'll start getting fucking regular sex again. But that's never going to fucking happen, you can. So you just. Settle for a life of fucking humdrum. Aye, and then the next other idiotic thing I'd done, right? I thought I should have learned for fucking being married. Aye, I thought that'd been a lesson for me, but no. I impregnated the bitch. Aye, <laughs> that was fucking really idiotic, you can. Because my son gets in my fucking tits, so he does his beautiful and that. I love him to death. But you can, he's a pain in the arse. He's always saying, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. Daddy, can I get fucking some of this? Daddy, can I buy a sweetie? Daddy, can you get me a Spider-Man costume? Daddy, Daddy, I want a new game for my Wii, Daddy. Daddy, can you come and help me play the game for the Wii? You can, I can't get past this bit, Daddy. I need your fucking help. What are you doing in that room anyway? But why is the door locked? Aye, I'm fucking here a wank, son, can? It's only sex I get. Give you some peace, for Christ's sake, that I'll shoot my load. Then I'll wipe myself dry and try and fucking compute the next level at Ben 10. Hi, that's what I'm talking about, you can. I'll try and do that for you. At least it's the least I could fucking do. It's the least I could do. Seeing as who you fucking keep your mother out of my way most of the fucking day, you can. So there's that. Oh, Christ, I, Jiminy's crickets. It's a hell of a life, as I know. It's a hell of a life, eh? Eh? Living, living. What are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with it? What, what, what's it all about? What's it all about, Alfie? You can? Aye. So, what else can I tell you? There's, I, I'm teaching English these days. I am fucking teaching English. I've tried teaching English to people. Ken? Because there's no a lot of fucking good English going around these days. There's all these Glasgow Neds all talking like that and all that. You can all talk about like that. I say, hey, pal. Oh fucking that, you're talking like a pigeon with a fucking nasal problem, you can? Fucking stop it. Stop it right now. You can I ain't pal, I ain't pal, what's it all about pal? I can, I can, there's nothing all about it, it's just fucking madness. Stop the madness, talk like me, listen to me, sit down. It's not fucking I ain't what's it all about pal, it's what's it all about pal? What's it all about pal? Can speak the Queen's fucking English if you're going to speak it. For Christ's sake. Aye, can you hear that wailing out there? I love, I love in a part of the fucking the tune that's got a fucking big mosque beside it. So five times a day I have to listen to some guy wail on about fucking Allah. Allah's the man, you can. Now to me, Allah, Allah is pretty cool. Like he lives in the universe and all that, you can. And he's probably just the same as God and the eternal energy and. Uh, who, I don't know, no Buddha, Buddha is no, not, not on the same level as Allah, because Buddha was a man and Jesus was apparently a man that got nailed to a board so we could all fucking be reborn for his sins or something like that. So he's not on the same level as Allah, but apparently Jesus was the same as God. This is a son of God and he's part of God, which is God, because everything's God apparently. We're all one consciousness, some people say, you can. But Buddha is not the same as Allah. 
Allah and God. I prefer saying Gaia, but that's just Mother Nature. Okay, that's the that's the world. That's not the universe. So that's not actually Allah either, is it? Fucking hell! There must be some other names. The logos, the logos. Some people, the Greek, the Greek term is the logos, isn't it? Buddha, no. Jesus, no. The logos, Allah, God, right? It's all the same, it's all pointing to the same thing, you can't, it's all pointing to the same universal energy that we all tune into. Some of us tune into, can I try and tune into it quite a lot, it's like a radio station, except I've got a bad reception, <laughs> there's a wee bit wonkiness in the air, there's a wee bit wonkiness in my air, you can. So uh, that's who I just call myself Jesus. Hi, I'm not Allah. I don't even want to be everything that exists. I'm just quite happy being a man. You can. So Jesus wasn't a man, so I'll take on the name of Jesus and I'll be a real Jesus man. Because apparently Jesus is like the sun in the sky. You can, that sun in the sky. That's the son of God, you can. And Jesus was the son of God. And Jesus got nailed to a cross where you've got the fucking, what is it, the equinoxes, the four crosses of the equinox. And uh, on the 22nd of December, the son of God uh, dies. The sun in the sky gets the lowest point in the northern hemisphere, doesn't it? It completely fucking dies. And then three days later, just like Jesus, rose from the fucking dead on Christmas Day. It's an amazing coincidence that, eh? It's an amazing coincidence just how Jesus' birthday happened to be on this winter solstice. Hi. And people didn't put two and two together. They're still going around. Even these supposedly intelligent people who are talking about religion and all the rest of it. And spiritual matters, the people saying, hey, Jesus was around, Jesus this, Jesus that. Jesus, you can, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe there was a guy called Jesus. I, I, I didn't know just the same as they didn't know but they keep going on about him. They say fucking, these people who these stories don't about Jesus, but actually the same story goes back through history with Horus and Mithra and fucking... Krishna probably, okay? they've all got the same attributes, they're all virgin mothers and twelve disciples and all that, it's all astrological. You can, we've, all, we've all seen the film, we've all seen the film, what's it called, you can, the kind of one I want to book. It was a very popular one on the internet, you can, and everybody's been brainwashed by that. Uh, but the first part of it was uh, astrotheology, and then the second part of it was 9-11, and then there was a third part as well. Uh, what was the name of that fucking film? Zeitgeist, aye, Zeitgeist, aye, we've all seen Zeitgeist, so why then still are we believing the Bible? Literally, again, we should be seeing it as an astral theology, the stars and the skies, and now we're now moving out of the age of Pisces, just like Jesus said, you know, when the, my time is over or something, when the man carrying the water appears, that's Aquarius, isn't it? Aquarius guy, the pictured guy, we're going into the, this is the age of Aquarius. The age of Aquarius, the age of Aquarius, the age, thank God for the age of Aquarius. That means that all the people who believe in Jesus, the Pisces people, when it gets to the age of Aquarius, they're going to just <coughs> fall down and fucking die. And then the rest of us will start celebrating, you can. There's all these hypocrites like George Bush and Tony Blair and that, that say they're into God and Jesus and Christians, but they're actually murdering people and they've all... Kind of not experienced God experientially, kind of not took fucking magic mushrooms and transversed the universe. No, they're, they're locked in their ego mind. The ego's fucking taking over these people, power and greed and all that shit. Because they believe in Jesus. So we're moving to the age of Aquarius, which might happen, some people say December 21st, 2012, don't they? They say fucking there's going to be a huge awakening, all the Christians are just going to go, eh, actually I've got a different theory, I think there's something happening. It's called biofication. Anyone ever heard of biofication? That's fucking mental, right? Some people say you've got to open yourself up to love and laughter and happiness and joy. And then that's where God's calling you, where you're a free independent spirit. You take responsibility for your life. And you really start to move mountains out there, can I can move, move, move any mountain. I can move, move, move any mountain. You can, I can move, I can move it, move it. You got to move any mountain, shake it baby. Yeah, the shaman, the shaman, I cause shaman, I spoke to a shaman recently, he told me that's what's happening, biofication. Well, some of us, I hope to include myself on that side, okay, because I'm trying to be a free, unique individual spirit. I didn't work for a fucking boss, basically, you okay? That's the first rule. If you work for a boss, you're fucking going the other way. You're going into hell realms. Because in this universe that we live in, there's 24 laws governing us. 
governing our soul and our evolution, one of them being gravity, that's the first one, another one being you know, the physical universe, and it's quite, quite a dense vibration in this, right? But in 2012, all the people who are in fear and anger and greed, their vibrations, because Mother Earth, the Gaia's vibration, she's healing herself, she's raising herself up to a new level of consciousness. And the people who fucking carry move with that consciousness, they're locked in fear and anger and hate, they're just, just going to go down a different reality tunnel. You can't like Robert Anton Wilson talks about that reality tunnels, because actually that's what, that's what life is. We, we, we say the world, there's no such thing as the world. It's just individual reality tunnels, basically. You can so we're all living in our own weird individual reality. The world is just a figment of our imagination. Because we take in information and the brain turns it upside down and it makes a picture inside the heat. We didn't actually see anything outside the heat, we see the picture that's inside our heat. So therefore our perceptions, the way we perceive life, makes us uh, go a certain path. Okay? So if you have habitual thought patterns that are always anger and fear, well that's going to be, you're going to look for those things in life and you're going to attract them towards you because that's how karma works in the universe. You're going to attract those things towards you and then, and then, your life will be really shit and it'll keep shit things will keep on happening. It's the story of my fucking life until we actually stop one day and think about it and try and change, you can. So these shit things keep happening, you keep doing the same things, you keep getting up and smoking a joint in the morning, having a few beers and lighting a coke and whatnot, you can. And then you try and pull some bird in the fucking local discotheque, fail miserably, but the ones you day pull, you'd be fucking as well no pulling because they're fucking evil incarnation because that's a good reality, good fucking mirror of you at that point, you can. So, uh, this hell is trying to get rid of them the next morning is what I'm saying. But anyway, aye, that's, so they're all going down this fucking other, this karmic side, doing, doing that path, you can. So, they'll all disappear. So one day you might be in a family, right, and say your wife's really annoying you, right, and you can't divorce her, you're financially stuck together and you've got six children. Some of them are little angels, some of them are little devils. And you like the little angel ones, but the devil ones are fucking... You love them still because they're your children, but you fucking find them hard to tolerate quite a lot of them, you can. So one day, poof, we might just... Oh, the good ones, that you, if you stay good and your wife's an evil moaning bitch, you can. You can go into the good reality tunnel with your good children and your good pals. And you'll all make singing and dancing and be like a utopia. What shall we do today for fun? Shall we get the guitars out? Shall we go for a swim? We don't have bosses in this utopia. Look, we're going to start planting trees everywhere and creating nature, living together in harmony with Mother Earth and respecting her and worshipping her and fucking really, really, really doing some magic things with her, Ken. Because she's evolved and we've evolved. Pity about those ones that went down the other reality tunnel. We'll miss them terribly. But we realise it's what's best for their evolution, you know? Even though it's going to be even harder to get out of that in than it is fucking this one that we're just evolved for because we're in an even lighter one. So, like, I don't know, King Gravity might be lighter. We might be able to... New world records will get set at the high jump. and we doing? Ooh, and you'll kind of go fucking 50 metres and then people just say, what's the point of all these fucking sports? It's all a complete waste of time anyway. People just getting up all day running like fucks to see who can run the fastest. That's the ego of mine. It's a stupid competition. Hey, who needs to fucking run all day? Right, right. I can get faster, I can get faster, I can get faster. I watch me go, watch me go. You can That's just a waste of time, is it? No. Now people pay money to watch people run fast. Fucking hell. You go to Glasgow city centre, you'll see hundreds of fucking thieves running quite fast through your shops, getting chased with security guards. You can That's That's better entertainment, is it? No. Although you see Bolt is fucking unbelievably fast and they get me wrong. Go on yourself, son. <laughs> ah, you see Bolt. He bolts out of there. He's the fucking dude. So, I, because he's from Jamaica, man. Jamaica, man. I've been to Jamaica, man. I've been to Jamaica, man. Twice I've been to Jamaica. And I had some mental times in Jamaica. Let me tell you, I get to the hotel with two of my friends, right? I'm in fucking Jamaica. Two of my friends. At the hotel, they give the fucking, they give the morning meeting, don't they? They say, right, right, there's big black guys outside that hotel gate, right? Again, some of them are working in this uh, hotel. We've tried to get some of the ones that are less intimidating in here. But outside, there's fucking really big black guys and they're all scary, and you know? They're all on crack. So whatever you do, when you go outside, if you're fucking brave enough to take foot outside this hotel without going on one of our scheduled trips that only cost you a hundred fucking pounds or to a trip to a waterfall, you can, if you're crazy enough to do that, then stay on the main track, stay on the main street and didn't go off with any completely psycho guys, you can, you didn't want to do that. 
That would be taking the life into your own hands at that point. You can. We're no responsible, right? We've said that. That's the agreement now. We're, we're clear, clear as far as the law goes now. Can you please sign here to let me ken you? you you've said and I've said that and you've understood it. So we said, I right, pal, whatever, whatever. We goes outside, right, boys? Uh, basically, we're going to score some blow off you, you can, because we're in Jamaica. The first thing you need to do is get yourself sorted. So there this guy comes up to us and says, hey, mon, hey, mon, hey, mon. I'll show you, you want to see Mick Jagger's house? You want to see Mick Jagger's house? I'm like, fucking, I why no, Ken, I'm up for a bit of that, Ken. And then he's walking and he's saying, I look, there's a banana tree. I right, fucking pal, came a banana tree looks like it's got fucking bananas on it. Aye, there's an orange tree, a lemon tree, right? Fair enough, pal. Listen, let's cut the crap, right? You're not going to take us to Mick Jagger's house because there's fucking got, probably got to be fucking 90 of them on this island where everybody wants to take them to. I think they're all fictitious. Can you get us some grass? The man was like, oh, marijuana, marijuana, oh yes, sure, no problem. That was the word I was wanting to hear. I was like, yeah. So my mates clubbed together and I gave this guy $80. He was like, fucking, whoa, oh, $80, let's go. He says, hey, where are you going, pal? I'm just going to get the grass. I said, well, leave us something for security. How do we can you're coming back? How do we can you could just fuck off into the, into the jungle there and we'd be fucking, we're not chasing you again. There might be some tigers in there or something. So he left us a pair of shoes. He took his shoes off, and these shoes were the scabbiest, most ancient. You wouldn't pay fucking 50 cents for these shoes in a second hand shop. Can charity shops will get these shoes in and say, fucking hell, they should have been in the bin, bin with eight years ago, Ken? So he left his shoes and he fucked off. We we're sitting there for about half an hour saying, this cunt is they coming back. Basically, we have been had. But I'm going to wear the shoes tonight anyway because uh, I've invested in them, you can. Next thing you can though, the guy, the guy comes back, all right, Matt, with the biggest bag of grass you've ever seen in your life. Like, fucking hole. Happy days, happy fucking days. And then I start saying, hey man, you rasta man, you rasta far eye, all right. And basically the guy never asked, he just assumed and quite rightly so. He took a big lump of grass, made a big fucking roll up with it. We are fucking smoking that. We floated back to the fucking hotel that evening, you can. How was that a good night? So, and it was. Aye, so and it fucking was. But then we had another night out. Oh, then he let me oh, see this fucking other night out. We had the other night out. That was fucking nuts, by the way. <laughs> we went to fucking, we went to this night, the, the waiter, right? We, I'd become friendly with the waiter, okay? We were having a few laughs and I said, hey, hey guys, I'll fucking take you to, I'll fucking take you to, to a nightclub, okay? I'll get you some Jamaican pussy. I'm like, fucking, that scares the shit out of me, but I'll pretend to go along with it anyway, because I'll never say no to a party, you can? So me and my two mates in the van, there's waiter and a couple of other guys, we get to this club, they say, you got any grasses? I've got this big bag of grass. They fucking took it off us. They started us skinning up and smoked their bag of grass. But we weren't fucking complaining because we were the whitest guys in the fucking universe at this point, you can? There was a black guy, in fact, it was the day they were celebrating their independence from Britain. We were out that night, they were having a big party, yeah, yeah. Remember that day we got rid of the fucking whiteies? Fucking hell. Who are these fluorescent guys coming in right now? Jesus Christ. So we're standing at the bar, the waiter fucks off and leaves us at the bar in this place. And on stage it was fucking three naked birds. Three naked birds. Now I've not seen naked, a lot of naked birds. And that, I was 22 at the time. I was like, fucking hell, they're naked. And they're black. And oh, Jesus Christ, I wouldn't have fucking touched them with a barge pole, you can, because they probably weren't satisfied. <laughs> and I'm not the fucking man for that. So, they'd start doing handstands. And they'd do handstands and splitting their legs and getting a Coke can and shoving it in their pussy. I'm fucking, this is nuts. Get me the fuck out of here. And this big black guy. Big huge but like a fucking Sherman tank sits down eh, eh, but on a stool starts staring at us. He's like in the middle of the dance floor with a stool staring at us three guys in the bar. I mean, I'd fucking, I had the loudest clothes in the universe at this point. I'd brought this fucking psychedelic shit with me thinking I'm in Jamaica. But God, that night I just wanted to be invisible again. <laughs> so I'm white as fucking, I've also got this illuminous fucking psychedelic swirly palms and shit going on. A hat, and I had a fucking tambourine with me as well. Aye, a fucking tambourine. I think it went the fuck it was doing with it again, because I can't play the tambourine very well, but I thought it was a cool uh, accessory. Aye. <laughs> so I'm standing there thinking, I look a right prick for this tambourine, this fucking psychedelic shirt, and all the rest of it. And uh, then basically, where's the waiter? Where's the waiter? Fucking, it's unbelievable. I was fucking, then, then, then the big black guy comes up to us and says, hey man, hey man, you want some crack? You want some crack? I was like, fuck. I didn't, I didn't know Ken whether he was talking about Ken crack the drug or those fucking 
birds with pussies that are up on the stage there, okay, not only like some fucking three bits of crack up there, you can, I was like, either way, I wasn't having anything to do with it, you can, because the crack and drugs, they would fuck me right up, and the birds would fuck me up ten times more and leave me fucking standing out for lunch at a fucking fancy Chinese restaurant, they do, you can, after having robbed all my money and fucking made my cock red raw. So, eventually the waiter turns up, you're like, get us back in that fucking van and let's get the fuck out of here. So back to the hotel, and we realised, we realised that what the guy said in the warning was actually quite good advice, because we never set foot inside the fucking hotel again after that for the next 12 days. Hi, <laughs> it was way too scary of the Ken, those fucking birds might have turned up and demanded some fucking booby. <laughs> And, uh, oh Jesus Christ, the, the very thought, the very thought, you can, I like young virginal birds who've never been shagged before, and then I'll be a fair bash at trying to satisfy them. I wouldn't fucking sit there. Can they probably get these fucking big black eyes? Because all the black eyes, they all tell me they've got a big, big bamboo. I've got, hey, hey sweetheart, you want to taste some of the big bamboo? That's what they call it, you can. And there was these three slags at the hotel, and we were staying there, and they were right into the fucking big bamboo, you can, so obviously they didn't want any of my pina colada straw, so they never got any, so they were, we were all clear on that yet, you can. Aye, so there's that story as well, aye. Uh, so it's been a quite a wee interesting uh, video we made today there, folks, aye. I think I've just about ran out of steam on that, yeah, and I hope you enjoyed that. Looking forward to our next chat, let me can, you can. I'm going to start putting stuff on the internet, we're going to start doing some mental shit and seeing where it leads us to. It could lead us anywhere and preferably out of this fucking hellish life that I'm living and into some rock and roll tour in the world with fucking hundreds of groupies and drugs. You can, if I'm up for a bit of that, so if you can anyone that wants to sponsor me, tell them and send me an email, do something. I'd appreciate any help at this point because I'm fucking running out of money very quickly. Cheers and bye bye just now.